Hey guys, here recently I've started receiving a number of requests from people asking if I can show how to get Cloudflare tunnels to work with Casa OS. So I spent some time trying some different methods that I wanna kind of walk you through each method and maybe uh, kind of give you the aha moment that I had when I discovered how I, how I got it to work. Uh, maybe you've run into some of, the same, uh, some of the same issues that I ran into before I got it figured out. And I wanna share some of those with you. And then of course, I will show how I got it set up. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, deploy this very, very quickly uh, with a lot less headache. But before we get into all of that, I do have some bills to pay. So here's a quick message from today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Linode. I've been partnered with Linode for quite a while now because it's a great place to host just about anything you could want to host. Need a dedicated space to host an app? Linode has you covered with more than 100 pre-built apps that can be installed with just a couple of clicks. Want to develop an app on your favorite flavor of Linux? Linode has you covered there too, with more than 30 different options to start with. Need to do some pen testing on your own network or app? Install a Kali Linux setup in just a few clicks to get started with testing your own security. You can also host a Docker setup, a Kubernetes cluster, and more with just a few clicks. From hosting a single website to complex multi-cloud deployments, find enterprise level capabilities like object storage, Kubernetes, and GPUs at a 30 to 50% lower cost than the major cloud providers. Be sure to check out the link in the video description to get $100 in free credit for 60 days to see what you can do with Linode. So just to kind of um, set us up for the rest of this video, I'm not going to show how to buy a domain. I'm not gonna show how to set up a Cloudflare account. I'm not going to show how to point your, your domain's DNS to Cloudflare. I've already made that video. I will have it linked in the description down below, um, but all of those steps are relevant to what we're gonna do here. So if you're not familiar with those processes, definitely go check out that video before you watch the rest of this video as those steps are important uh, kind of prerequisites for this video. So just a quick demonstration here so we can kind of get all on the same page. So here we are, we're looking at my Casa OS uh, login screen here. Uh, this is uh, something I just set up for the sake of, of getting uh, Cloudflare tunnels figured out with this setup. Uh, so let's actually get logged in real quick. Oh, before that, uh, if you look up at the top at the address bar, we can see that it's at mycasa.dbtech.dev. Uh, and if I get logged in here, Uh, here we can see there's my dashboard, there's the app store, there's files, and there is our Cloudflare tunnel up and running. Uh, if we click this, it's not gonna do anything because there's not, not really, there's no interface to interact with uh, in the Cloudflare tunnel application or the agent rather. Uh, it does run as a Docker container, but uh, there's there's nothing to administer here uh, via, via any kind of a control panel via the, this container. Uh, so uh, if we want to administer or change anything, all we've got to do is come up to here uh, and click on settings. And in here, there's a bunch of stuff that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. But I did want to show that this, this is actually working, this is functional. So what I wanna to do to, to kind of uh, continue with that premise, so I'm gonna click uninstall and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything and click uninstall. And then, um, and now it doesn't work anymore, right? So that, that's good. That shows that, uh, that the tunnel is actually effectively working or was effectively working. So let's, let's actually come back and let's, let's close this window. Here we can see there is the public host name uh, that we that we were using on, on that URL just a moment ago. What I'm gonna do though is I'm actually going to delete this tunnel entirely. I'm gonna come over to tunnels. I'm gonna click delete and we're gonna click on delete. And of course the first step to getting this to work is setting up a tunnel. So let's do that real quick. Uh, let's click on create a tunnel. We're gonna give it a name. We're gonna call it Casa OS and I'm gonna click save. Now, if you're not familiar with how to get to, to this section, uh, once you're logged into your Cloudflare account, uh, you can come over to the left-hand side and click on zero trust. It'll pop this open. And then you can go to my teams and then go to, or sorry, go, go to access and then tunnels. And then you can create the tunnel that we just, that we just started on there. I apologize for, for kind of jumping around there, but that's, uh, that's how my brain works. And I, I have to take you guys along for the ride sometimes. So we, we, we named our tunnel, right? We have Casa OS. So we can see that right up here. And then next we're on this install connector, uh, page. And we've got several options on how we can do this, whether it's windows or Mac, Debian, Red Hat or Docker. Um, if we come over, we, we could install this in, um, 
in the root OS. Um, and that's, that's one way you could do it is you could just copy this, uh, go over to your, to your SSH terminal window login, run this, and then everything would work. Uh, however, I don't think that's how uh, the people requesting this video wanted to see it done. If we come over to Docker, uh, right here is a Docker command. Um, and this is, this is, this is where things kind of get interesting here, right? So if I copy this and I come over to Casa OS and I go to App Store and I come up to custom install and then I do the import option, here's our Docker CLI, right? That's, that's what this command is, is just Docker CLI. But if I click submit, it's gonna say, hey, make sure you check everything to make sure that it, it looks right before you deploy this. Uh, make sure that everything looks the way it should. And if, look, if I click okay, um, the Docker image is run and the app name is run and the icon is run. Uh, there shouldn't be a web UI, that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. Um, no ports, that's fine. And then, then it just all kind of falls apart from there. Like it kind of fell apart from the top down, but the Docker CLI method of installing this does not work. Um, and I'm sure that, that plenty of you have tried this um, and, and had the same end result. So when I tried this and realized it didn't work, I knew I had to move on to a next step. So the next step is kind of kind of the same, but kind of not, right? So we're gonna go to App Store. We're gonna go to Custom Install, just like we did before. Uh, we're gonna do Import, again, just like before. And here we've got a Docker Compose, where we can put in a Docker Compose um, uh, configuration here. Sorry, my brain, my, my brain branked. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's one of those days. So so anyway, I've got this, this Docker Compose over here. And if I copy this and bring this back over to here and paste that in there, uh, the only thing you need to change in here is the tunnel token. Uh, the, all of this other stuff is relevant, but we need to change the tunnel token. Uh, to get the tunnel token, what we're going to do is come back over to here. And right here, our tunnel token is this EY, all this garbage, and then CJ9. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring this open over to a notepad and I'm just going to grab these lines and copy that and then uh, come back over to here uh, and paste that in. Look, all of this stuff also will be linked in the description down below. So uh, if you miss something, all of the resources will be in the description down there. So please feel free to use those resources again in the description down below. So we can, we, we can say I put in my token, it dropped it down a line. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm going to click submit. And, and then it, again, it's like, hey, make sure this all looks correct. And at first glance, it absolutely does look correct. Uh, we've got our Docker image of Cloudflare, our app name, our icon. Uh, it still doesn't render anything, but that's fine. Um, and then, but here we've got an environment variable that we didn't have before, and that looks really good. So let's click install. It's gonna go through this process of pulling the Docker image and installing and doing all of this stuff. And there it is, Cloudflare tunnel. Um, but you'll notice it's grayed out. It's not actually, working and that's that's a problem, right? That's obviously a problem um, because uh, it's grayed out, it's not working. And if we come back over here, we're not seeing any connector show up down here like we should. So because uh, the command line option in Casa OS didn't work and the Docker Compose option didn't work in Casa OS, I had to think of a different way to do this. And when I tried it, I was like, this isn't gonna work. The, 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 the people who are asking for this aren't gonna like my answer to this. Um, but then uh, I noticed that uh, the, the folks developing Casa OS did something that I requested like a year or more ago. And and that, let me, let me show you what that is, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over to, to my Casa OS. I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna uninstall it. I should use the right term there. I'm gonna delete the user data. I'm gonna delete everything. It's gone. What I wanna do though, is copy uh, the, under Docker, I wanna copy this Docker command like we just did a moment ago. But I'm actually going to SSH into my server. So let's do that first, the terminal, and then SSH. Okay, so here we can see I'm logged in as root at Casa OS. Let me, let me minimize, or let me, let me clear my screen. I'm gonna paste in this Docker command line. Now, here's the thing, if I run this, uh, it's going to install, everything is gonna work perfectly until I close this window. I'm just gonna hit enter. It's saying it's unable to find it locally, it's gonna pull everything. Um, and then once it's done, our connector down here is going to change. Okay, so it's deployed, all of this is good. We'll give it a second. Now our connector down here is actually there, and that's great, right? Here's the problem with that though. If I, and, and if, in fact, if I come over to Casa OS and I refresh, a couple of things. First, other containers. This didn't used to be a thing. It, it used to be that if you installed a Docker 
uh, container via command line or any other method, um, it wouldn't show up on the dashboard at all. So I had actually requested, like I said, like a year ago or something for the developers to tap into the Docker socket to pull uh, running containers into the, uh, into the UI like they've done here. Thank you uh, for doing that. Uh, I really do appreciate it. This, uh, this is going to revolutionize uh, the way people can use uh, Casa OS. This changes things significantly, even since the last time I looked at Casa OS. So with that out of the way, so we've, we, our container's up and running, it's good. We can see it's, it's, it's in color there. If we come over to our Cloudflare tunnels, it's the connector is connected there. However, if I close this window and then come back over to Casa OS and refresh, now it's in gray, it's no longer running because the command that we were given here doesn't have a certain flag in it. So let's take a look at that next. Okay, so I'm logged back into my, my, my server via the terminal. Here again, we can see root at Casa OS here. What I'm gonna do is copy this, um, and then I'm gonna come back over to here. I'm gonna do this. So basically I just refreshed that to make sure it was absolutely correct. So. Here's the thing, here's what we can do to fix it so that we don't have to leave this terminal window open. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the, the very beginning, it says Docker run, and then Cloudflare, Cloudflare latest tunnel, right? So all of that's fine. What we're gonna do is go to the end of run there, do space dash D. Now, I've always called that the detached flag. It could be the daemon flag. Uh, basically what that dash D does is makes it so that uh, it will deploy without being dependent on the, the terminal window staying open. So what I'm gonna do is copy this again. I'm gonna paste that in, I'm gonna minimize this. Uh, nothing on this, this screen back here is going to change, just so we're clear. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and run this. It's gonna bring it back up. And now it brings us back to the command prompt. It didn't do that before. If you remember, it just it, it, it just kept us kind of captive inside that the command line that we ran earlier. So now it's running. And if we come back over here and refresh again, now we can see that it is running. We've got two of them in here. This one is the one that we just redeployed. And it, even if I close this, and refresh the screen, it's still up and running. So that's what that dash D did in the command that I modified just a little bit there. Uh, so I can go ahead and click this and we're just going to import this. All of this looks fine. Uh, you could change this icon if you wanted to just by putting in a different URL. Uh, I'm not going to, but you absolutely can. I'm gonna click save. And now, now our Docker container for uh, Cloudflare is up here. And if you wanted to, again, you could come up and click on settings and uh, you say just Cloudflare. I could have done that earlier. I didn't, whatever. So now, uh, now once it went, there it is. Now it just says Cloudflare, we're good to go. And again, if I click this, nothing, nothing is there because there's no uh, user interface in, in the window here. So, so just while we're here, let's actually clean up um, this uh, so that the other container that, that isn't running, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's do terminal again. And then let's do um, Docker uh, container prune. And then yes. And then if I refresh over here, now that's gone. We're good to go at that point. So now let's take a look at what that container should actually look like compared to how it looked like before. If we come into the settings for uh, this container, like we've got our Docker image, that looks the same. Our app name, that looks good. Our icon URL, again, doesn't matter. Uh, but down here, we've got some environment variables for a path and an SSL cert file and some locations for those. The, the other methods that we tried you to, to use to deploy uh, the, the agent on our system didn't provide any of this. So under uh, container command, uh, it didn't do any of this stuff like tunnel, no auto update, run, token, and then the token. None of that was there. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, that's kind of why um, I, I wanted to make this video is because there's a lot of stuff that the, the information that Cloudflare provides doesn't do for us in Casa OS. So, uh, so it added all of this stuff uh, it set our CPU shares to high. It set a restart policy for us. That's all fine. It set a host name. That's whatever. You can change the host name if you wanted to. I don't think there's a need to though. Um, but that is kind of what's going on there. Okay, so our next steps will actually be to create a public host name for our setup here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, on, so we've gone to my tunnel, then we're gonna go to configure, then we're gonna go to public host name. Again, we've already got our agent configured here. So that part is ready to go. So again, what we're gonna do is click on public host name. Then we're gonna click on add a public host name. I'm gonna call this uh, casa dot, or I don't actually need to do that. So casa and then dbtech.dev over here. So for the service type, I'm going to select HTTP. Now, if we were, um, 
if, if Casa OS ran on like port 443 and had a built-in SSL, then we would select HTTPS. But because it doesn't, it just natively runs on port 80, even if you change it to something else, it doesn't have an SSL built into it. So we wanna keep this on uh, HTTP for the service type. Uh, for the URL, it's just going to be the IP address of our Casa OS server. So for me, that'll be 192.168.0.238. Let me verify that right up there. That looks good. And then we may or may not have to put the port number on there. You may have changed the the, the port uh, that, uh, that Casa OS runs on. It, maybe, you, maybe you change it to like 8181 one or something like that. We do need to make sure that we include the port number in that case. Uh, I'm not going to because we're still on port 80 and we're going to give that a try. Under additional application settings, there's nothing in here you should need to mess with. And let's just click on save host name. And then we can click here. All right. So that didn't work. So let's, let's put our port number on there just in case. And click save. There we go. So I had a little bit of a, a DNS issue. That happens, uh, especially when I'm testing stuff and trying new things out and doing domain names and undoing domain names. So you probably won't have that issue, but I did it in order to get this to work on my end because I'd already used this domain. Anyway, I just had to go in and change uh, the network, my DNS settings on uh, on my, con my, my network controller here in order to get the DNS to refresh in a timely fashion so I could finish this video. So that's what happened. You probably won't have that issue. Just know that you could. And if that's the case, you can just go in uh, to to like your, your, uh, your properties for your, whichever network controller, whether it's wireless or wired or whatever, go into properties, uh, go into IPv4 most likely and change your DNS to something other than the automatic settings that your router provided. I used Cloudflare's DNS for this, but you could use you know, any of the others that are out there that I just completely blanked on. So there we go. Now we've got Casa OS up and running on a domain name again. And that's kind of the processes that I went through to troubleshoot how all of that works. Okay, so now that we've got kind of the idea of how to get a Cloudflare tunnel installed, uh, let's say we've actually got an application installed in Casa OS, and we want to be able to uh, use our Cloudflare tunnel to uh, to access, let's say, Vault Warden. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on Vault Warden here, and it's going to open up, and it's going to it's going to go a little wonky on us here by adding this port number to the end of our already existing URL. So let's figure out how we can actually get this set up on, say. Um, let's say uh, pw.dbtech.dev, right? Let's try that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over to our Cloudflare uh, tunnel area. We're gonna go to public host name. We're going to add a public host name. Again, we're gonna do pw for like password. Or let's, do, let's tell you what, let's do vw for vault warden. Our, our domain again will be dbtech.dev. Our type again will be HTTP because again, there's no uh, SSL built into uh, the vault warden container. We're gonna do the same IP address that we did before of 192.168.0.238, but we need to make sure that we grab the uh, the the port that Vault Warden uses. So let's go to settings. Let's just grab that port right there. And let's do colon and then that port number. So just that IP address at that port and we'll click save host name. So now we've got vw.dbtech.dev. And if I click this right there is our new Vault Warden instance. If we wanna make sure that that is actually uh, just kind of to verify that it is working, we're gonna come over to here. We're going to say, uh, we're just gonna power it off. And now it is not running. So if I come back over here and refresh, now we get bad gateway. So let's go ahead and turn that back on. There we go. And then again, refresh. And now we're back up and running. So you can kind of use that same methodology. Once you've got your agent installed, your tunnel configured, you can then just start creating additional subdomains for your domain using the actual IP address of your, your Casa OS server and the port uh, for each of the individual applications. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that kind of, uh, kind of clarifies some things. So, what I've done to kind of make this a little bit easier for you guys, so you guys don't have to go through the processes that I've gone through, is that I have actually gone up to the export app file. Uh, right there is that cloudflare.json. Let's open this up. Oops, that's fine. Uh, let's open that directory there, that folder then. Here is uh, our cloudflare.json file that I just exported from uh, from Casa OS. I'm going to change this section. Uh, oops, right here, right there. 
And I'm gonna say uh, your token here. So where it says your token here, uh, you're just going to replace that bit of text with the actual token that we see uh, down under here. Again, it's after install. Uh, you can kind of see it, E-Y-J-H-I. Same on all of these. They're they're all down here after this Cloudflare service install. Um, so you'll just want to replace um, where it says your token here over and over and over again with the actual token that Cloudflare, Cloudflare provided you. So there is one other thing that I did want to touch on just real quick. If you're not sure how to do an app import. So let's actually come over here to Cloudflare. Uh, let's uninstall it like so. We're just going to delete all of it. And of course, uh, then that's going to, to make it so that uh, this doesn't work anymore. If I refresh, it just it quit working, right? So we're going to go back over to our local on our IP address up here, like we can see there. Uh, I'll do app store, custom install, import, app file. And then we'll just come over to here uh, to our downloads. And right there's our cloud, Cloudflare and click Submit. Okay, we wanna make sure all of this looks good uh, based on what we saw earlier. All that looks great. So I'm gonna click Install. And there we go. Now Cloudflare appears to be up and running. It is blue. That's a good sign. That means it is actually working. So let's come back over to here and refresh. And there we go. Now we're back up and running just that quickly and easily. So there you go, guys. There is how to get Cloudflare tunnels up and running with Casa OS, both installing the agent and setting up subdomains based on the IP address and port of the different uh, things that you're trying to access on your Casa OS instance. I know that uh, you may have had hopefully some of the same aha moments I did as I kind of explained each of the different methods that I tried, that you probably tried. Uh, so hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, do me a favor, uh, give the video a thumbs up at the very least. Uh, if, if you'd like to do more than that, of course, there's a comment section down below that you can definitely let me, let me know what your thoughts are there. Again, resources and everything will be available in the description down below. So be sure to check that out. Um, but I think with all that said, I want to wrap this up. I do want to thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video.